Just like a pallet, we land shit down. My man bitch and then I shocked the whole town. Alright, man, like, comment, share, subscribe. Please just go like this motherfucker right now, because I've been noticing I ain't getting likes and comments as much as I'm getting views. I might get two, three hundred views and get two, three likes. And I'm like, God damn. I know it ain't two, three people watching this over and over and I got 200 views. No, I need y'all to like, comment, and share. Okay. All right, now we got to do a reaction video with Jeff T. eBay authenticity guarantee. And you'll feel it. When it comes to your feet, eBay is like none other. And, and Prillies, how you what, nasty? Cool and nasty. Let's get to it, baby. Now, Dre, I know you done been a lot of places, and you know you grew up in the Midwest, but you see, have you ever seen the, the... Oh, he ain't even got the uniform on today. Normally, he, show, he gonna show you. Have you ever seen that before in your life? I see you white. got the Tiffany's on. You, you ever seen the black was hat the white laces? White. No, that's crazy. I ain't that's never seen that. They coming out soon, bro. <laughs> we, uh, we still in the works with Nike, but yeah, they come. I'll get yeah. your pro 15. Yeah. yeah. I got you, bro. I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cool. <laughs> I don't really want them. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga said, I'm cool. <laughs> they come with a pistol in the box cut, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's exactly. a package. They go right with your fit, bro. The strings, you feel me? They go that's with the, the accent. They go with the whole narrative. Bro. It all works out at the end of the day. Draymond gonna be the first nigga in the league robbing niggas with the fight for us. That could be your, you know, your farewell tour. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they don't know you like that. <laughs> Y'all started off the show this hard. Y'all started off the show this hard. It's five in the morning. Y'all, like, I'm really like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Only real basketball player, like, people know. <laughs> Still man. to my right, my dog, Young Nacho, Young Tig. How man, you doing, man? I'm good, bro. We got a legend in the. Hey, Je Jeff T, you that was perfect. Oh. The building, bro. Midwest, Midwest legend, Come on, man. Champion, real one. Man. champion. I appreciate one of the real. That, that was perfect. That was a good way to open up because it was kind of corny and then it, it was real loud. Phyllis, man, I'm so glad to have you. I'm gonna let you do your thing. Hey, man, you already said, you know that it is volume game. We got Thanks. a champ, Hall of Famer in the building, podcast extraordinaire out the gate. Draymond Green, appreciate you sliding the 520. I appreciate, yeah, appreciate oh, y'all having me, man. I'm a big fan of the show. I'll be watching. What y'all bring to the podcast space, bro, is absolutely incredible. So thank y'all for having me on. Jeff, you, I don't know how to. The fuck you remember all them stories, <laughs> but it's crazy, bro. Man, I appreciate it, bro. <laughs> you was one of the first people that really shot us out uh, early. We appreciate it. Okay, man, yeah. bro. Type shit. That was yeah, love, bro. bro. We really yeah. appreciated that, bro. Yeah, so, yeah. No doubt, man. Uh, I love what y'all doing. It's like, it's organic, you know? And man. I think the thing about the podcast space is, like, everybody... You got to find your lane and your niche yeah, in it, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's room for everybody. So. And I think the lane that y'all created, like not found, but created, the lane that y'all created is special, man. I appreciate it's that, dope. bro. Yeah. That's love, man. Obviously, man, we could talk about so many things, but, you know, we a real hoops pod. We got to talk about before you got to Michigan State, the AU days, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Be him and my man up here. He's a big AU hey, basketball. That's his thing right yeah, here. Worldwide right. West Junior. <laughs> you, you see the jacket? Yeah, my Rashad swag. Yeah. Shout out to Just Don and them. Mitchell and Nessie. Hey, boys. For <laughs> sure. <laughs> but now, man, Hooper Days High School, man, who was that dude in your area outside of you growing up? Do they got the same shoes on? What's them, some fives? I don't even know what number some fours. Ah, uh, man. Noopy Crater. Uh, mm -hmm. We had Noopy Crater from Flint. He went to Flint Southwestern. We was the same grade. Noop was top 15, top 20 yeah. point guard. And I feel like Noop was the last true point guard like of our era where he was just dishing. Mm -hmm. And he was great at it, you know, like getting people involved. And it was loved. And then you kind of seen him get to college. And all of a sudden, they're like, yo, he got to score more. He got to do this. But I'm like, no, nah, y'all been praising this and him mm. being a true point guard. And you kind of started to see a change in them. But Noop was that dude in Michigan, like, for sure. Like, it wasn't me. It was Noopy. And then it was this little white dude named Brad <laughs> Refford who played with Xavier. Yeah, he used to shoot the barter. lights out. Shoot like it was shit. those two, like, yeah. in my high school class that, that was doing it. Nah, I know him. He could shoot like a mug. But, uh... I love I love how you play, and it's mm -hmm. all geared towards like being at Michigan State. 
Like, we had some kids from here. Andy went to Michigan State, Gary Harris. Yep. We had Xavier Booker who's there now. Mm -hmm. Why Michigan State, though? I know I, c I could tell why you went, but I'm like, I try to ask them the same question, like, why they pick Michigan State. Mm -hmm. What do Izzo, like, do to make you get there? Like, also, um, Aaron Henry. Oh, yeah, yeah. Aaron, Aaron Davis. Davis. Aaron, yeah. Shout out to the West Side. That's my little brother, too. And y'all had Aaron Harris, too. Yes, sir. Yeah, for sure. Um, a lot of nap boys, man. Um, I think for me, number one, Michigan State was always my dream school. Okay. Man, you know, I... Draymond Green give me vibe that he might punch somebody for no reason. Jeff T, like, yeah, I'm gonna just sit in my space. Y'all niggas gotta sit next to him. Like, they they probably already had like a little laughing discussion about it of where Draymond gonna sit and if he might punch them. I know y'all have this is low key shit that motherfucker kind of laugh about being funny as the homie type of shit. I grew up watching Mateen Cleese, Mo P. Okay. They from Flint. I'm 20 minutes. I'll cry. So wait, yeah. Saginaw. Then Jason Richardson, who is from Saginaw. Yeah. Saginaw, Saginaw. Shout out my nigga uh, Flash out. Sure. And so growing up, uh, it was always Michigan State for me. Like, that was the gold standard, where you wanted to be. Now, I committed to Michigan State when I was, like, a sophomore. But they didn't really accept my commitment. It was like I was committed. It was like I was in a bad relationship. Like, I've I was committed. <laughs> And they, they they wasn't committed to me, but I was committed to them. Twins. And I've been there. Shout out to Purdue. Shout out to Purdue. Uh, let Drake finish. <laughs> so, I'm committed to them. And they ain't really honoring. So my junior year, I ended up taking an unofficial visit to Kentucky. Mm. My high school coach played with Tubby when Tubby coached at Tulsa. Okay. And um, I took an this nigga just brug up the tail too, nigga just on some hubbo shit. I feel like I be watching shit for a reason. Bro just brug up Saginaw, Ed Tulsa. An official visit to Kentucky, and I end up committing to Kentucky. <laughs> and he talking about Kentucky. Shout out my nigga C. Crook. Come on, nigga. Shout out Punch Man Damn. And, and they were pissed, but I'm like, y'all ain't. He about to bring up uh wherever the fuck Jules from. Y'all ain't like, honor my commitment like I'm going to Kentucky. And Tubby end up leaving, I end up going there, but. Uh, long story short, why I picked Michigan State um, was because Tom Izzo winning. Mm -hmm. um, he was putting out pros. Yeah. So. When I was coming, it was like seven first round picks and nine first round picks or something like that in seven years. Yeah. And and then this probably won't go over well with people, but I went to Michigan. I was going to go to Michigan. Mm. And like, say I announced, say today is Thursday. I announced, I mean, today's Friday. I announced that next Thursday, I'm having a press conference and I'm deciding my school. I was going to Michigan. Manny Harris was there. Yep. And, Manny Harris. And, and so they had Manny start calling me. And I was tight with Manny and Manny, like, Drake, tell me something good. And I'm like, just chill. It's cool. Like, it's good. And they like, you need to come down one more time. They, the coaching staff now right, blowing my pressure. phone up. Yeah. Come down one more time. Come down one more time. I'm like, I'm good, man. I'm, I'm all right. Like, it's cool. Come down one more time. So finally, I go down on Monday. My mom takes me down. We play open gym. They show me the dorms we was going to live in, which Ooh. I'm a dummy. I didn't even see the dorms I was going to commit there. And, and Manny wasn't at that open gym. He had class. But all the other players was there. And I was busting their ass. Uh, shout and out I to was, Douglas. Uh, yeah. And I was talking crazy to them boys. And nobody said a word. Mm. Uh, Draymond always been Draymond. He different. Mm. And I was like, bro, I go to Michigan State, and I'm talking crazy to them, and we all about to fight. Out the gate. That's, that's home for me. That's like, it. That's, <laughs> it, <yeah. laughs> that's, it, that's yeah. it for me. Like, this is a family, and everybody's stand on business here. It ain't none of that it's like soft. Yeah. Like, I don't think I would have made it at Michigan. They a little, mm. little more, little Ooh. softer, Ooh. little more, a little like, preppy, a little bit more preppy. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, they yeah. probably, they go love yeah. that. Yeah, Michigan State is definitely grit for yeah. sure. Nah, yeah. for sure. absolutely. Yeah. So that was it for me. That's crazy. Then obviously, you know, what I'm saying you have a crazy career. Michigan State, Tom declare. How was your draft process? Awful. I did 21 workouts. God damn. Um, I had a, I had a guarantee from Indiana that they was going to pick me if I was still on the board. And I was here doing my second workout the day before the draft, and I woke up that morning, and Larry Bird resigned. 
came across the screen. He was light skinned, we would have got you. <laughs> 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 y'all drafted Miles Plumley. Not even right. Mason. Y'all drafted Miles. I remember. Oh, he don't know everybody. Uh, yeah, y'all drafted <laughs> Miles Plumley. I had a guarantee um, from Atlanta. They was gonna pick me. Come on. Yeah, we fumbled the bag. Rick's son stepped down, like, or got moved over yep. the week of the draft. I had a guarantee from Memphis that they was going to pick me. Chris Wallace got let go <laughs> the week of the draft. God damn, Dre. <laughs> yeah, a bad look. And I, had a, and I had a promise, which has been publicly said, I had a promise from Chicago. Damn. Shout out to Moot. And they actually drafted your brother. brother yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Moot. The <laughs> they drafted your brother. Shout out to my dog. You know how yeah. he got drafted? You remember Omar uh, Ashik? Whatever his yeah. Name? Yeah, yeah, Captain. Omar Ashik. Yeah, yeah. Omar, yeah. Said, yeah. They had, we had the same agent. Okay. That nigga said Ashy. And he, they had, they wanted him to resign. And they was like, all right, you got to take my brother in that draft spot. So he'll resign. And he ended up going to Houston anyway. He signed that, like, that poison pill yeah. that, like, three for 35. Yeah. And three, yep. Yeah. Yep. Him and Jeremy Lin. Yeah. Yeah, they had already picked my brother. So I knew my brother wasn't going to play in Chicago. They was pissed. <laughs> I was like, he ain't about to get no clock. Damn. So that was, and needless to say, all those people passed me up. And um, I ended up falling in 35. And it was like, it was the most bittersweet thing, bro. It's like, I just got drafted. Y'all fucked over me. I'm a second round pick. Like, and so that was, I mean, I, I hated the draft process. Mm. You know, it's crazy now. <clears throat> we talk about all the time. Boys, they may would rather be, if you're not going lottery, they never will ever be second round now because you get yeah. to your bread faster. That's a fact. Yeah. yeah that's a fact. Yeah. I was, I made, I made money before anybody else in my class that's made money. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. a good. Like, real money. Shout out yeah. to Wes Matthews. Else. Absolutely. West did that that year. The, uh, pff, man, Ooh, pioneer. that was my draft, bro. Yeah. I'm looking like, damn, what the fuck, he making seven million a year? <laughs> I only get two thousand a month to spend on myself. I do some shit. Oh well, yeah, uh, let's do this real quick. Top three second round picks of all time. Mm. Him, <laughs> Gil. I'll go crazy. Just talk some names up there, Gil. bro. Manu. Yeah, Manu Joker. Joker. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, Joker. Joker. I'm Joker. sorry. That's what I was like. <laughs> I remember that. Slow down, y'all. Nah. Nah. You, you, nah, bro, you got bro, four rings, bro. You can say that for pick, sure, bro. <laughs> but damn, my new Joker. Joker. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot my new was a sick round pick. So. Gil. Gil up there. Yeah, Gil. Gil up there. I can move myself out of that. I'm cool. But your career, your career is probably better than Gil's, so. though. Yeah, the career for yeah, sure. Yeah, for sure, my for career sure. is. Yeah. Yeah. That's... But Gil's talent is undeniable. Yeah, yeah. That's why we're going. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, look, he kept it 100, though. That's a real... He do pure hoop yeah. shit. Like, yeah. yeah, pure hoop shit. Gil is one of my favorite players. I wore zero because of him. Uh, I just... Uh, I, yeah, 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 that was why I wore zero. Gil okay. was genius, bro. It yeah. was... Uh, see, now... It ain't Drew Gooden. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> see, now, motherfuckers? Nah, I say I like that. Drew Gooden, yeah, bro. <laughs> this nigga be going back on his fucking worry. Fucking I said liar. I like Drew Gooden. You had these weird-ass YouTubers <laughs> talk about, see, he's always trying to go against T. And, Man, Me fuck too. T. <laughs> liar at the time about Drew Gooden was my idol. <laughs> I never said Drew Gooden was my idol, nigga. I say I like Drew Gooden, bro, when he was in college, Man, let's pod, man. For the March Madness game, man. Respect, out of here, bro. <laughs> Love, bro. All right. Come on, your ass. Stay full. He on that. We got company, bro. Nah, I'm sorry, bro. Dre family, bro. It's cool. Yeah, bro. Now, you know what I liked about him, though? He talked shit from day one. Remember one day we was in the game? Me and him talking shit on the bench. I'm trying to talk shit. He talking shit to me. He on the court. He look at me he like, shut your ugly ass up, motherfucker. I'm like, get your money up. He said, what? You got money? Get this shit straight. I said, damn. I said, damn. I looked at I can't even say that he ran down the court. I tried to go to the end of the bitch. He's like, I ain't talking to you. I ain't talking to you. I told you, this nigga dangerous. And then he got paid. I said, oh, I got to eat that word. God damn. He got more money than me. <laughs> nah, shout out to you, bro. You been that. That's why when I see it on the court, I'm like, no, that's him, bro. That ain't before he got money championships. That been him. I appreciate yeah. it. Bro. bro, you have so many legendary moments in the NBA, bro. My favorite Draymond moment is. Oh, my God. Draymond moments. The Paul Pierce, bro. <laughs> they don't love you like that. It's one of the hardest rants of all time, bro. Because we clipped it up. My dude, Luis clipped it up. <laughs> when the fan threw the he threw the headband in the crowd, and the dude caught it and threw it back threw it in back the funniest out. shit. Of all that time. is your fucking fault. That is your fault. That is your fault, bro. Man, when I said that though, number one, I didn't know 
everybody will hear. <laughs> no, because he, he pissed me off, man. Like, at that time, he, you know, he had just came over to the Clippers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we had a thing with them. Yeah, like, yeah, you know, we were, it was B. And so he come over and he on the bench and he like, cook him, BG. Talking to Blake. He too little, BG. And that's my biggest pet peeve. Don't fucking call me too little. Like, mm-hmm. I, I, my side, my height is my height. There's what. And so, you know, he's talking back, like, and we come down. And so Blake catches it on the mid post. He face up and he shot fake me and I fucking jump for it. Mm. And like, why am I jumping for a Blake? <laughs> yes. And and so it really pissed me off because I'm like, now you got me off my square. You mm. got me jumping at a Blake Griffin pump fake. And I'm just like, bro, shut up. <laughs> like, you ain't like that. Like, you chasing this farewell tour mm-hmm. and you ain't like that. And, you know, the reality is you don't get a nickname like the truth if, if you're not, not like nice. That. You know, so no. Paul Pierce is nice. However, yeah. with Kobe passing away, that statement, it did not age like spoiled milk. Yeah. Because we saw the magnitude of Cole mm-hmm. yeah. once he passed. Yeah. Like, the world stopped. Literally. And and so, you know, when you look back on that statement, it was the truth. Nah, you, you speak the gospel. Oh, uh, yeah. We true. said he was lying. Yeah. It was funny than the motherfucker. He crazy as hell, yeah. man. I was like, man, when he said it, I was like, Hey, that nigga crazy. <laughs> hey, <laughs> imagine you giving a fan shot. Hey, you know, so you walk through the tunnel, they be like, nah, that's crazy. Uh, and for them- him to catch it, it was going to somebody else. And he was like, nah, get this shit out of here. <laughs> that's what I, I said, nah, it's up for Draymond. <laughs> Draymond's an asshole. Who I else up there be talking shit in the NBA, though, bro? Who you got, like? Man, you know, uh, KD used to talk a lot. He don't talk no more. It seemed mm-hmm. like he used to talk yeah, crazy he did. He used to, to talk people, shit. Like, yeah. real crazy to people. I can definitely see that. Yeah. Um, Air, Air, what about A.E.? Pat Bell and talk more than anybody, by mm. the way. And, and, and he's so good, so it's not much you can say. <laughs> but I mean, I'm going to nice. go there with you. Like, I'm going yeah. to talk nonstop. But... He him he he talked to everybody and he that good. Yeah. So it's not much you can really do or say. Yeah. But he he know he good. And that's dangerous. Yeah. And he carrying that that team. That's a fact. Which is nuts because <laughs> they got some guys that have lost a lot mm, on that fact. team. And trust he carrying me. them like trust me, you know? I was over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was over there. <laughs> shout out awesome. to Minnesota. Yeah, yeah, shout out to them, man. <laughs> he carrying them like like nah. they some winners. Yeah. And that's that's a special gift, man. Yeah. He, I like Ant. He on back down, but not at all. When you talking trash, to me, I like if I talk shit, like I'm talking shit to get myself going. Mm-hmm. In a way, I feel like you do that. Like, cause I hear you sometimes just be like, fuck out of here. Mm-hmm. I'm like, bro, don't say nothing back to him. <laughs> just keep playing, bro. <laughs> if people used to like when cat, when we used to play cat, you would say like, that shit's soft. And I used to be like, cat. Just who, bro? <laughs> he gonna take you out your game. Just who? <laughs> and he wouldn't say nothing. He'd be like, i be like, don't say shit. Don't say nothing to him. Mm-hmm. But you do that shit to get yourself motivated and to get yourself going. I, I don't think to. people know that. I used to talk shit a lot just to get myself going. Mm-hmm. Nowadays, ironically, I don't. Yeah. I only talk when somebody, somebody say, say something now. Yeah. Uh, it may not seem that way these days, but <laughs> I really only talk when no, somebody like, say something to me. Now. <laughs> I be out there like, man, I didn't got I didn't think I missed like 24 games. I got suspended this year. The most games I've ever been suspended. And I think I smile more on the court than I ever have. Yeah. I be out there laughing with niggas. But <laughs> Kat, I, I I used to bark up that tree. Yeah. Uh, quite a <laughs> But yeah, man, I used to talk a lot just to get myself going mm-hmm. because that's how I grew up. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, Sorry. we grew up on the court. Talking if shit. you ain't talking, yeah. like, you might as well not even be hooping. You Thanks. know what I'm saying? And so, like, mm-hmm. I have to talk. But now, I think I've learned to not have to do that, like, yeah. to get myself going. And I think that's just growing with age and mature. But once somebody go there, I don't know how to stop. Yes. Like, oh, we know. I, <laughs> <laughs> oh, we your mixtape this year been crazy. <laughs> the, yeah. the one with with Buddy from the Lakers. Oh, Vando. I said, bro. I said, bro. He having too much fun, bro. <laughs> Fuck out of here. But check this out, though. I answer this question for you. I got a question for y'all. Hey, man. <laughs> Every time I do something, 
y'all start doing this. Yeah. What does that say about you as a man? He trying to get you fun that's week. Like, yeah, that's, that's, that's corny to me. Yeah, that is. And no, so I crazy. have a hard time respecting that. Like, every time I do something, the first thing you do is jump up, like, yo, review him, review, review him. him. Nasty. Like, bro, I got kids. Like, yeah, why are you trying to get them to take more money from me? I, I think that's corny. That's corny. Yeah. And so for me, I just can't, like, I can't respect that. I always mm -hmm. say, like, that. That's saying more about you than that's saying about me. Yeah. And so I just can't respect everybody, like, hopping up. Like, yo, you need to review him. Like, bro, I fouled him. Like, relax. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. all right. Yeah. So that I don't know, man. I'm losing shit. more and more respect for these guys in the league. The niggas be knowing what you up against, too. They are already nitpicking them. You yeah. still trying to, <clears throat> you know, take money away from me. So that makes sense. Like, I think that, that shit was just funny, funny, bro. Yo, reaction. <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to do that. That shit was funny. Like, I didn't want you to get fined or none of that shit, but I'm like, bro, he's a fucking clown. Bro. Look at this nigga out here, man. <laughs> he enjoying this shit too, too fucking much. much. Man, this nigga Draymond and almost elbow. Probably like six niggas in the league, bro. They ain't gonna talk. Bro, <laughs> be like the other day when y'all played the clips, I said, bro, clown. <laughs> bro, having fun, bro. That's bro, what so why was the camera on me <laughs> in that moment, man? Like, the let me be. Always gonna be on you, bro. You know what time it is. Come on, man, let me be. <laughs> nah, I bro. wasn't even in, I wasn't even nah, in the nah, scuffle. Nah, nah, you earned this, bro. You earned the ISO. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Kim all game, bro. I saw Dre for yeah. sure. Oh man, I went to I, we we went back to Memphis. My first game back, they they review a file. Camera coming my face from this angle. I threw the towel on this camera. <laughs> I grabbed another towel. Camera came this angle. I threw the towel. On. They like, yo, you gonna get fired? I'm like, if they find me for getting the camera on my face, then you know what, man? It just is what it is, bro. <laughs> that nigga about to get fired for every day. <laughs> nah, shit. Before, I know we don't got a lot of time before we got here. I wanted to give you your flowers because you you really changed the way basketball is played. Mm -hmm. When I first came in the league, we had two bigs. We have a big power four and a big center. We had Zaza and Al, or we had mm -hmm. Josh Smith and Al. Mm -hmm. And then you came in the game with the Warriors, and you six seven six eight on your best day, whatever you mm -hmm. want to say. You getting the ball, pushing the break. Throwing passes, you really a point forward. And now you got Clay and Steph. They playing a two and a three, basically running the win. And y'all changed the game. And I think a lot of people like a Grant Williams, all these guys should be like paying homage to you because mm -hmm. shit, you really fucked up the NBA because it was easy <laughs> to do a one four pick and roll, one five pick and roll, the big sitting back. I get to shoot or I get to make a little pocket pass, and you came and you switching. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, shit. And then when you switch, you like, don't help. <laughs> I got him. Don't help. I'm like, ah, oh, he got me fucked up. <laughs> I'm like, and you really couldn't get by. He was just as fast as you. He moved just as good. He taller than me. He blocked shots. Yeah. I was like, damn, he fucking up the game. And then all of a sudden, y'all just start running the league, bro. That's all because of you. Clay and Steph, they are who they are. But you played a huge role in that, bro. I appreciate that, bro. You know, yeah, it's yeah. uh, it's an interesting thing for me because... I only really get that love from like hoopers. Yeah, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying like like mm -hmm. people who really appreciate, know the game, mm -hmm. and at times, like we all look for a little validation. Right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, it's you gotta have confidence and know what you bring and believe in yourself. But at the end of the day, like as a human being, we all like some type of admiration. Yeah. You know, and and that's not really what comes with the job for me. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's like. You been you 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 screen you pass you play defense, and and it's never really viewed that way, mm -hmm. except for from guys who really know the game well, and hoopers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so man, I, I appreciate that because it's been a lot of times, bro, where it's like I don't even want to do this shit no more. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it's that nigga don't want to hoop no more, low key. I felt like it too. Like Draymond really started just doing podcasts. You, you, it's almost as if you you falling on deaf ears. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm doing this, I'm doing that, but you don't you don't necessarily get the credit for it. Like even even if I look at like like people like yo, you made a bunch of money, and I'm like I have, and I'm very appreciative of the money I made. But like I've never signed a max contract. Mm -hmm. Like coming off of championships or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like. I've never signed a max contract. Nowhere near. Like right now, my max was 150 million more dollars than what I got. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so, but to 
Look at Jeff T. He just looked in the air. Look, he like God, motherfucking you. Look, look at Jeff T. Like even, even if I look at like, like people like yo, you made a bunch of money, and I'm like, I have, and I'm very appreciative of the money I made. But like, I've never signed a max contract. Mm -hmm. Like, look at look at Jeff T. Hold on, coming off of championships or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, I've never signed a max contract. Keep looking at it. Like, Nowhere near. Like right now, my max was 150 million more dollars than what I got. Yeah. You, know? <laughs> that nigga said, Damn. you know what I'm saying? And so that nigga was like, what the nigga shit? What the fuck your ass is there doing right there? If I had 150 million dollars, I wouldn't even be in your motherfucking face right now. I'm still in the hundred thousands and shit. But to feel pay for these high ass bills and live my regular like life. And be with all the rich people. What I love mm -hmm. from Hoopers, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like yourself, guys who I respect. Because, you know, I don't respect everybody that play basketball. Like, just because you play basketball, you don't gain my respect. Yeah, like that, yeah, yeah. That, okay. ain't, that ain't the benchmark for me, you yeah. playing the NBA. But like guys that I respect, that's ultimately, that's what kind of make you want to keep going. You no, know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. just knowing that you get that appreciation mm -hmm. from the real ones that know. So I, I definitely appreciate oh, they that. They should bro. know. Like when you got suspended that game in the finals, that turned the whole mm -hmm. finals around. Like you were the most important player on that team, like during that stage because you you really run everything. Like if you play yeah. against them, you know like, all right, Draymond get the ball. He going to push that shit. You got to close out the step in them. They catch it on the run, it's over with. Draymond get downhill, he gonna make a pass, he gonna skip his gun. Like, everything was like, all right, fuck, keep this motherfucker. Hey, you gotta damn near guard him. You was like Rondo mm -hmm. for the Celtics. You like, you damn near gotta guard, like, guard, guard him. Don't let him sit back and make plays and just pass open. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, this motherfucker really special. And that's when I started like, yo, we need Paul Millsap. Yeah. I'm like, mm -hmm. we need somebody yeah. that could do the same shit. We wasn't good as y'all nowhere, but I'm like, we need some shit like that. And then the whole NBA trying to do it now. So, nah, but it was bro. it was fun during that run where y'all was, y'all. I mean, you had Brian obviously, but as a team, y'all was dominating the East. Yeah, we was in the West, and and it was kind of like we were playing similar styles. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, shout to Quinn. You you coming off, making the reads. You got Kyle Korver flying yeah. off. You got um, so y'all had base for a minute. Yeah, Damari Carroll. Yeah, like. Mm -hmm. Ow. And y'all was really putting it together. And I thought, um, it's just unfortunate, y'all. Like, yeah, Brian, 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 it's over with. <laughs> it's just unfortunate. When Brian want to pick you apart, it's over with. Yeah. Because yeah. he, he just walked the game down. Like, and he'll make every play. He going to run and transition if they got a layup. Yep. If they don't, he going to stop. And he going to get everything he want every, every play. And that's every tough, man. Time. It's tough to beat. And I, he said with you, bro, like, you are the intricate part of a dynasty. I think people don't understand. Like, you are an intricate part of a dynasty. You are the reason why everybody's able to play the way that they are. Like, how is that to, like, obviously you get that that love, but, like, to be a part of so many historic situations, like, y'all team is historic, you've been a part of historic battles, what's the craziest game you played in? Man, the craziest game I played in... Against LeBron, game seven, dude. The craziest game I played in was game six in 2016, Oklahoma City. Oh, yeah, dog. And, and we was down 15 in yeah. the third quarter, and Clay went ape shit because we had no business winning that game. Like, it was over. They, they was going to the finals, yeah. mm -hmm. and that was that. And... To see, like, we got every stop we needed to get. We made every play we needed to get made. And, you know, OKC was a tough place to play. That must be rock. Like, it's still, like, they back good now. Yeah. It's tough again. But it was different. when K and Russ, that was a tough place to play. And everything was against us. We down, we was down three to one. But now at this point, we down three to two. Mm -hmm. And it's we down 15 in the third quarter. KD and Russ gonna score the ball. Exactly. Absolutely. And for us to come back from that, that was like the one. Cause it's 2016. Like I ended up getting suspended in the finals if I did not think we'd go on and win the finals as well. But Thanks. that's neither here nor there. But that was after the first championship. Everybody was still questioning us, like, oh, such and such was hurt. That's why mm -hmm. they won. Kyrie was hurt. Yeah. Kevin Love was hurt. That's why they won. 
And that game was kind of like the, 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 that thing, I think, that really sparked us going forward because it was like, oh, we can come back from anything now. You know, like, we can come back from that. We can do anything. And like I said, we lost after I got suspended. But that was, I think that game was, like, really the thing that set us on yeah. that path that we've been on. What's your favorite championship year? 2022. Because 2015, which was the first one. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Harrison Barnes. <laughs> HB. Boys forget. Yeah. We, facts. HB was very integral in that championship. Life, Boys forget. Like, absolutely. Life. Facts. We'll go ahead. 2015, we didn't really know what we was doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just chasing it. Like, mm -hmm. didn't, don't really know. And so, mm -hmm. at that time, I always say, like, um, Irrational confidence. That's essentially what we had at yeah. that time. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. we just out there, like, we're gonna go in. We think so, and and we won. 2017, KD come, and Christmas Day, we were still trying to figure out like who getting the ball, Kate. Okay? And after we got, we lost to Cleveland. Elite and after, game. Yeah. And after that game, K told Steph like, "Don't worry about me." I'm good. I'll find mine. Be Steph. And from that point on, we rolled. It was just a matter of time to get to the date that we were in the championship. Yeah, y'all was cheating, bro. <laughs> <laughs> 2018, just a matter of time mm -hmm. of the date we're going to win the championship. 2022 wasn't really a championship team. Mm -hmm. Like, are the championship teams that I've been yeah, on. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't really a championship team. And I'll, I'll tell you, if, like, after every series, me and Steph would be walking to do an interview after we won the series. And we walk and laugh. Yeah. And we laugh like, yo, how? How are we like, doing this? How, how are we winning, like, these <laughs> series right now? And, and we literally laugh like, this is funny. But that's also... When Steph took that next step of like, mm -hmm. now nah, I'm 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 really one of them goats, yeah, like, for sure. And and he carried us, but that was the toughest one. We weren't favored, like, Damn, everybody God. was calling us too small. Boston, they too athletic, yeah. they too big. Yeah. We didn't stand a chance, and we went and made it happen. So that one was my favorite one. Okay. And then also, you know, I told KD, I'm gonna win when you leave here. Okay. And um. You did that shit. I did that. Yeah. So that that one was the most fulfilling for me. It's I got to like, ask you a random question. We talked about Clay going crazy game six. What was more crazy, that or what he did to my Pacers? Ooh-wee. Well, he he, he got Ooh -wee. on him. He ain't that shit on me. I told you who's going. That nigga wasn't me. Go crazy. Glenn Rice. That nigga on the stand. It wasn't me, bro. I had Steph. Steph might have had 30 that game. I don't give a fuck. He ain't had 60. The 60 was crazy. That was crazy. Didn't dribble. But you know, Clay also kind of, like, there was added things to that. Him and PG both, same year, from Cali, Southern California. And then Monte, oh, and Clay. Yeah, you know, Monte yeah. mm -hmm. was there. Clay coming in, yeah. didn't necessarily feel like he embraced him as rookie year. Mm. So it was an added sense of right. I want to, I want to destroy these dudes. Man, <laughs> we saw. I was on the court like we was going in the locker room. We, all right, it's when you go to Golden State, you play at Oracle, even in the new arena. You know you're not about to win. Like, at these <laughs> moments, nah, for real, bro. You be like, all right, we got to keep it close. Because they go crazy in the first quarter, it's over. Yeah. Fans going to start going crazy. They going to start running around on the bench, throwing towels and shit. <laughs> so the first quarter, we was down like 12. I like this shit off. <laughs> he started his shit. I was like, oh, it's over. I see them start throwing towels. Steph running down the sideline. I said, Damn. oh, they clowning us. I'm about to be on TV all night. <laughs> then they threw a lob to KD. They tipped the ball. Yeah. I run it back to chase it down. Steph just throw it behind. You just see me in the camera like. Yeah. You gonna see it, bro. It was crazy, bro. They team was too good. We used to go, they cheating. Y'all was worse than the Heat, bro. Yeah, it was. Oh, I mean, I think that was the greatest team of all time. It was. In my opinion. Like, uh, who over? I ain't too many people want to smoke with y'all. 
Nah. Man, hold the fuck on. Ooh. I would <laughs> love to know. Let me think. I don't get another question. <laughs> yeah. think oh, y'all on that 01 Lakers team would be real. Yeah, I was like, yeah, that would be. My only thing with the 01 Lakers team, I think we had a better team overall. Like, for sure. But like, bro, we ain't got nobody that bar shot. Yeah, yeah, bro, they, 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 shot, bro. They, they probably got the nod. Y'all there though? Ain't Talent on the on the paper. Yeah. Paper crazy. On paper, it's not. Like paper you. warriors, y'all silly. Yeah. But with the with the diesel and, and, and coaster. Got it. Only thing about Diesel. Who the fuck is guarding uh, uh, Shaq? Long, long? Hey, that's been tough. <laughs> now, we we, we would have struggled with Shaq for sure. Like, you know. And they had shooters. But Shaq had to come up. If Shaq couldn't yeah, pick play that drop. Bro. Yeah. Steph yeah. was going to shoot. Him and Clay was going to be teeing up. Bro. And they didn't even have to screen because, oh, my God, what Steph would have did to Derrick Christian. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> well, we he thought Matt Barnes was bad. <laughs> Nigga, Steph would have torched his ass. No, Steph would have. Steph would have torched it. Nigga love throwing jazz. <laughs> <laughs> Get well soon. <laughs> Steph? <laughs> Y'all yeah. yeah, stupid as fuck. Yeah. Nah, no, I, I love seeing that matchup, though. That'd be fine. No, that's the matchup and stuff. Yeah, yeah that'd be classic. Like I'm talking shit, though. Yeah. KD, bro, it's, it's over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna fuck around this It swing, was demoralizing. Like, damn, man, y'all could get air. Ain't nobody guarding Shaq, but ain't nobody guarding Kobe. Long live Coaster. That's how we end the, uh, the reaction video. Um, 40 minutes. I'm really lit. Five in the morning. It was four something. Now it's five. Like, comment, share.